question number 20 for our test one review has four different parts to it. A couple of them involve uh, laws of exponents and things to watch out for. One of them involves the area of a circle and one of them involves evaluating a function that contains an absolute value. So let's go ahead and take, an ex take a look at those examples and work those for you. All right. So here we are. Let me get my camera down there for you. All right. So here's what we're going to look at first. The very first part of this question, tw question number 20 on test one review, question A. This is an absolute, um, this can be an absolute washout for people. They just, a lot of students tell me that they think the answer to that question is a positive 25, and it's not. The correct answer to this question is a negative 25. And the reason is, if you read this correctly, it says to take the opposite of 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is 25, and the opposite of 25 would be a negative 25. This is the correct answer. Another way to understand this is the 2 only goes, the exponent of 2 only goes with the 5. 5 squared is 25, the opposite of 25 is negative 25. If I wanted the answer to this problem to be a positive 25, I would have to have parens around this to make it a negative 5 being squared. But it's not. You don't see parens there, so don't assume that you do, okay? Basically, this is just getting you to recall one of your laws of exponents. And in this particular case, 8 to the 0 power is equal to 1. In fact, the general law of exponent says any real number except 0 raised to the 0 power will give me the answer 1. All right? Part C asks us to state the formula for the area of a circle. And in general, that formula, if you'll recall, and on this upcoming test, any formulas that you've seen presented in class or that you've dealt with on your online homework or your textbook homework are formulas that aren't going to be provided for you. You're going to need to know those formulas from memory, and this is one of them. The formula for the area of a circle, A is equal to pi r squared, where r represents the length of the of, of a radius of the circle. Very corny joke, but it might help you remember the formula. The kid comes home from college and the parents say, okay, we're spending all this money. Tell us something that you learned. And the kid said, well, I've learned that for circles, um, the area is pi r squared. And the parents both turn and look at each other you know, and say, wonderful, we're spending all this money. Everybody knows that pi r round Boo, bad joke, but it might help you remember the formula. All right, our last part of this question is look at example D, or question part D. We're given the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of 2x minus 7, and we're asked to find f of negative 10. So we're putting negative 10 into this function in the place of x. So f of negative 10 is equal to the absolute value of 2 times negative 10 minus 7, which is equal to the absolute value of negative 20 minus 7, which is equal to the absolute value of negative 27. Oops, if my paper would stop moving, I could write. There we go. And the absolute value of negative 27 is a positive 27, and that's our final answer. Well, hold the paper still. There we go. That's our final answer to this question, positive 27.